Hello, Internet. It's time for some trailer reactions. The game show award thingies was yesterday. I didn't watch it. I never watch it. I have very little interest in it. The only game awards I'm interested in are the ones that I give at the end of the year because they're the games that I played and I enjoyed or didn't enjoy, depending on the game. We're going to watch some trailers and we're going to start off with Final Fantasy 16 because, of course, we are. You know, half the videos on my channel to do with Final Fantasy 14. It's not massively surprising that I'm going to want to spend a little bit of time looking at Yoshi P and Team's next efforts. This might even be the last thing I watch for Final Fantasy 16, but I have been watching the trailers uh, for the most part. Let's see what the revenge trailer is all about. I may even have watched this one. I don't know. I can't remember. Ping. Take Joshua and get to safety. I'm not going without you. I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. No, you're not. You're going to get killed. Then. Yeah. Your Highness, run! Ah! No! Clive! Joshua! Clive. They're just not very fantasy names. Ooh, battle. Looks cinematic. Lots of particle effects. Nice texture work on the uh, the arenas. Revenge is a weapon. Odin. Slepnir looks cool. Garuda looks. Uh, Garuda. Shiva looks cool. <laughs> cool. It's nice. I sometimes wonder if I am controlling it. Dark Knight. Controlling me. Ooh, <laughs> these look amazing. Ifrits. And then we get the the kind of kaiju combat. Ah, oh, Ifrit looks cool as well. Ooh. Doggy! Pistol Dragon? Dragoon? I'm just saying words here, aren't I? I suppose that's what the action trailers do. That was... I'm using Zantetsuken. No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, I will press on. You can tell Soken did the music for this. 2023. Chocobos. A little bit of open. What do we do? The usual. The usual. So a bit of party-based gameplay. Years, I've waited for this chance. I won't be dying today. Come to me, Ifri! Whoa! Fate is written in fire. <gasps> A release date, 22nd of June, 2023. PlayStation 5 exclusives not available on other platforms until the 31st of December next year so they they've 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 got a deal with playstation the, the whole playstation moaning that xbox was gonna get too much stuff if they they had um various bits and pieces and mergers going through and then they keep doing this kind of crap i mean i have a playstation 5 but just like final fantasy 7 remake the game was a, a load better on the pc um That's going to piss a lot of people off, frankly. You know, an entire six months to wait just so you can play a better version of the game on better hardware. I mean, my computer is way better. <laughs> way better now. I've just upgraded it. Way better than a PlayStation 5. Don't get me wrong. I love the PlayStation 5. I was playing on it like yesterday. I was playing Dark Souls 3 on it yesterday, of all things. Because I got that in the Black Friday sale for a, a ridiculous discount. Um, but, yeah, that, that's going to annoy people, including, including me. Um, I just hope they don't make it Epic Games Store exclusive when it comes out on PC. Because that's, that's, that's a double layering of pissing people off. But 
As much as I love Final Fantasy, Square Enix is massively tone deaf when it comes to publishing in the West. Um, I, I don't know a huge amount about the kind of general Japanese reaction to how they release things over there, but for years now, um, especially recently, they've just been going in terms of, well, what, what, what do we do with our, our Western releases? How do we, I, I kind of feel like they're, they're just burning their bridges and sinking all their ships in the West. And if it weren't for the fact that we're such a large market, I, don't, I think they'd probably prefer not to bother with us at this stage. Because ju it's just misstep after misstep after misstep. Isn't there a game out or coming out or in development that, that's basically NFTs the game or something from Square Enix? It's like, just listen to people in the actual gaming space rather than a, a small handful of people on on social media about how crypto is the way forward and NFTs are great. I was going to talk about Final Fantasy uh, 16, wasn't I? Looks great. <laughs> Looks really, really fun. Really, really fun. I'm going to swear there. Try not to swear in these videos. Um, yeah, great visuals. We got uh, we got some great voice acting. Um, this isn't going to skip back through properly because it's set to 4K. Um, the the combat looks fast paced and kind of ridiculous in at uh, times. Soken's music is very clear throughout. Um, you know, even the composition of, of shots in these these kind of semi cut scene things is is really well done, as you would expect from the team that basically bought the entire franchise back from death. I certainly bought Final Fantasy XIV back from death, but considering how well Final Fantasy XV did, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed XV, especially the Royal Edition version of it. But this looks like a, a real... It looks... It looks... And sounds like a return to form. Although, to be fair, I really like Final Fantasy XV's music, and I think it's actually my most listened to Final Fantasy soundtrack at this point. The whole collection. Especially the, um, the Iggy soundtrack. Blazing Tactician and all that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Final Fantasy XVI Revenge coming out next year in June. The problem is, I believe it's coming out quite near to Diablo... Uh, Diablo. Diablo 4. So that's an issue for me, because I'm going to play both. Also, I believe there's a, a trailer for Diablo 4 on my playlist as well. So maybe we'll watch that. Hope you've enjoyed this reaction. Onwards to another one.